all of a sudden, I reckon Richmond have have tricked us all again. Not tricked us, but they've just flipped this on its head and said, hey, we're going to do a Geelong here. We're going to do a Sydney. Brendan Gale has often said, we want to make our club like Richmond and Sydney. So, mm. so like Sydney and Geelong have been for the last 25 years, and that is sustained success. And this is how I reckon you do it, Jared. I think you're right. I think Geelong have, um, whether they win, lose, or draw the grand final, they have proven that their methodology has allowed them again. Stands up over time. To have a crack at the premiership and a genuine crack. In fact, their best crack for probably a long time. But you've got to get it right. You've got to get the targeting right. You've got to be able to do it within uh, the scope of, uh, A, how many draft picks you've got, and, B, how much salary cap room you've got. So congratulations to the Tigers if they can land them both. I think they'll get Taranto done. I think Hopper's probably still a question mark. Mm. But he, he, he may have to go because of the Giants' really compromised draft. Oh, they'll both get there. If um, What are you thinking if you're Geelong right now? You miss out on Hopper. You're oh, yeah. not sure if you're going to get... Tanner Bruin. Do, do you go back in for Dugowie? Um, I don't think Dugowie will go. I think Dugowie is going to stay at Collingwood. You'd probably have another crack at him, but Dugowie probably wants another two or 300,000 more. One of the keys to making these rejuvenations on the run work is not overpaying. Because if you're going to drag them from another club, you've got to still make your salary cap work. Yeah. And so therefore... I suspect Tom Hawkins is going to get less than he would be getting normally if he was on the free. I, I believe Tom Hawkins is on less than three hundred thousand dollars next year. Less than three hundred. That's what I'm told reliably. Mm, okay, that's a big cut. This is, but, for an all Australian full forward. This is what Geelong do, though, Jared. They they promise you the best lifestyle away from footy. Tom Hawkins gets to live on his farm. Yep. He gets to basically keep his own. What hours. would he have been on last year then, or this year? Well, he at his best. In his prime of his contract, he would have been on 800 plus. Yep. But if he was poached by a Carlton or an Essendon in his prime, Jared, he would have been on 1.1. I mean, this is why Geelong are what they are. Well, if they've got him playing for less than 300, which I doubt, Scoop. Um, That's, I, I, I'm willing to stand by that. Yes, I've had that one uh, put to me before and I've tested that one out down there. and um, it's, oh, it's, it's, It hasn't come back right? Well, I don't think you're far yeah. from the ballpark, but uh, less than 300 is um, it's, it's a big fall. Down, it's a big fall down the cliff. Okay. Well, but nevertheless... Might have to check that one. Braden Fiorini is in the sights of Collingwood. Mm-hmm. And I've always thought Braden Fiorini... Yeah, you've liked him. Is a, a good player, but he's hasn't anywhere near reached the heights that he should have for his draft picks, does, which for memory was about eight. Does he have the ability to do a Will Brody? How would you know? Mm. Because nobody thought Will Brody. Not nobody. Except for Will Brody. I'm not even sure Will Brody thought. I that. think Will Brody had great faith in himself. He talked to people over at uh, Fremantle, and they say from the minute he turned up, okay. he wanted more work. He wanted more of this. That's a good story. And he, he's actually. I mean, if you compare Will Brody to the Suns midfield, he'd be, if he's not first picked, he'd be second picked. It's a big loss for the Suns who haven't been able to find a method to get him to play his best for them. Yeah, okay. Well, um, it's a good story, Scoop, by the way. Jacob Hopper, Tim Taranto, both in Richmond colours next year. It's not something we would have thought about, Jared, three months ago. No, and the other question is, what does it do? I mean, now the reality is there. What does it do for the Giants? Because the one thing they had going for them is they had huge depth through the middle of the ground. Well, someone was asking me today as I was I was looking into this story, what do the Giants need? And I thought to myself, well, they probably need a key forward. They definitely need a key forward. Right. They've got a few good defenders. Like Taylor's got a, a great really defense. good player. Him they've got an A-grade knows, defense. Yeah, okay. But, <laughs> but they're now a bit short through the middle. But they now probably need another mid. Well, they, Particularly they, if Bruin leaves. They've got a couple of youngsters who we didn't see too much of. Yes. High draft picks from last year. And you like Lockie Ash? Lockie Ash is a good player. And Tom Green's a gun. Tom Green is a gun. What's Lloydie's man who went pick number uh, one or two last year? He played about five games. Uh, uh, the guy that got injured early. Um, uh, Finn Callahan. Finn Callahan. Yeah, that's Finn it. Callahan. Finn Callahan. Very good young player. So, But they're building. You know, They're, they're not going to change the uh, course of where they f- finish in the draft. Sorry, on the ladder next year. Finn Callahan. You probably don't see them playing finals next year? Are they in that sort of? Where they're, they're, they're... Depends on what they get. Yep. I mean, if they can pick up two or three players, but they're all outs at the present time. We don't see them going in. And if, if you're losing people because you've got salary cap problems, it's going to be hard to pluck them. One of their best picks 
uh, well, one of their best moves was Himmelberg to go back, and Hogan was a great pick because they paid not much for him. Hogan's been a terrific pickup. Mm. I mean, if you look at his numbers, given on what he's getting paid, it's a win every day of the week. They've got the big Ruckman coming uh, from Fremantle, evidently. Lloyd Meek. Lloyd, not so Meek, hopefully, is uh, <laughs> going to go up there and throw his weight around under the tutelage of uh, Big Mummy. Yes. No, they're an interesting – watch the Giants because you and I sat here, I reckon, 12 months ago and said, mm. they could win the flag. No, no, I don't think we went that far. I think we did. Did we? I think we did. I think we said that Don't they tell could anybody win that's the, good. Okay, we won't Do tell not 